I am reading from Matthew Gospel 17, verse 14 to 21. And when they were come to the multitude, they came to him a certain man, kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic and so fixed, for oftentimes he falleth into the fire and oftentimes into the water. And I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perfect generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him either to me. And Jesus rebuked the devils, and he departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciple to Jesus, apart and said why could not we cast him out and Jesus said unto them because of your unbelief for verily I said unto you if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed ye shall say unto this mountain remove hence to yonder and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible unto you how be it this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. We need a master hand of touch in our lives. We need a master hand of touch in our lives. Beloved, there are situations and conditions in life that can be handled by the masters, but bigger than servants to handle. Situation. Such situation is the present pandemic that we, we and the world is going through now. This problem is beyond human wisdom. It's beyond our nation resources. It's beyond her leaders' knowledge. And also beyond the church leaders, pastors and prophets. This is a problem for the master to handle. In a case study from where we just read. When Jesus returned from the Mount of Transfiguration, a case of demon was brought before him. This same case was brought before the disciples, but could not handle it. But when the case met with Jesus, it became no case, because master and servant can never be the same. In our lives today, in the present condition of our life today, we have seen that the problem that we are having is more than the knowledge and the power of our leaders, church leaders, world leaders. Therefore, we need the master hand, which is Jesus Christ, to have a touch in this matter so that we can have peace. You can agree with me that it child was brought before disciples to have him cure. They do the binding, they do the casting, they pray, and nothing was done. And when they brought it before Jesus, Jesus cast the demon out. And one of the disciples went before him and asked, Master, what was the cause? He simply said, because of unbelief. And that if we have faith, like a mustard seed, we can say to this mountain, be thou removed to yonder and it will be done. In other words, he was talking about no faith in Christ Jesus. That people today are trying to rely on their wisdom, intelligent, they don't have faith in God any longer. The very reason we must do away with our pride, we must do away with our pride, pride and our belief and our religion, position and human knowledge. And to call in the master Jesus for total cleansings and healing so that the world will not be living under fear but peace. 
as according to 2 Chronicles 7, verse 14, from verse 13 to 14, which says, If I send pestilence and trouble to the earth, and if my people that call by my name shall humble themselves and seek my face and pray, I will hear them from heaven, then I will heal their lands. We have to do away with our pride. Pastors, leaders must do away with their traditions, custom, position. For whatever position we find ourselves is of the Lord. He just shed his little grace upon us so that we can save the Lord in every area of our life. But yet, the pride will not allow us to humble ourselves and call for the master to touch. Jesus is the master that the whole world must humble themselves and bring him in so that this situation we are finding ourselves now will go down. Rather, the world is living under fear now because of what we are facing, whereas we have someone that can put an end to this. Praise the Lord. And remember, we are looking at the master hand to touch. There was this case study also that has to do with a great man called Elisha and the Shunammite woman. In 2 Kings 4, verse 18 to 37, when you go home, you read. It has to do with the son of that woman. But it gets to the time that that young man sick and died. And the mother had to locate Elisha. And Elisha sent his servant to go and restore the young man. Of the truth, Elisha handed over the authority to the servant. He went ahead to restore the young man, but could not. At the hand of the servant and the master can never be the same. But the woman that went back to her son with Elisha, Elisha had to send everyone out and enter the room because master touch cannot be compared to the servant touch. The servant tried but could not bring back the life of that child. That was the master touch. Today, Jesus is our master. If everyone today must return back to the master, his touch can bring peace to our nation. His touch in our marriage can bring peace in our marriage. His touch in our workplace can bring peace in the workplace. But today, we are relying on our intelligence, our position, on knowing that the master is still in control. We look at another case study in the life of Elisha and the sons of the prophets in 2 Kings 6, verse 1 to 7. The son of the prophets said unto Elisha, Behold, now the place we dwell is too straight for us. Let us go unto Jordan and take then every man a beam and let us make us a place there. And they pleaded with him to go with him. When he went with him, the Bible declared that the axe fell into the sea. And he asked, where is, where was the place? Because the man said, we borrowed the ark. And by research, we meant to understand the young man that beckoned on Elisha to go with them was the one that the ark fell from his hand. And he said, we borrowed it. And because they beckoned on the master to go with them, he now cut it a stick and put into the place the position. And the ark flowed back. And he asked him to take it and take it to the owner. Today, where do we place our master? Where is our position with our master, which is Jesus today? Where do we keep Jesus? Where do we place him? What is the value we place on our master Jesus today? Why don't we allow our pride to allow our position not cause us to abandon our master? In a problem now, there are situations in the world that only the master alone can solve it for us. Are you lonely? Call in the master. 
Are you struggling to make it in life? Call the master. The only hand that can turn things around. Even the scientists are confused now. The world leaders are into confusion now. We now need to humble ourselves. Even the whole world cannot humble. If our nation can come to humility, calling on the master to touch us now, this situation will be stories. I plead with everyone now that let us return back to the master. In his touch, he can never be like the servant. We all are servants in different dimensions. The Lord sent us to this world to save him in different capacities until we humble back to the Lord. The little grace he gave to us, he shared a little grace, but we must return glory back to him. But rather, we are using it to make mockery of one another or to suppress others or to cheat on others. But the master is still waiting. The moment we return to him, he will be there to give solution to every mankind. I plead with everyone here today to go home and humble themselves for the master to operate in their life. Believing that when the master comes into your life, your life can never remain the same. Let us go home and kill pride in our lives and bring in Jesus into our lives. A touch of Jesus will turn things around. God bless you all. Amen. On Christ the solid rock I stand on.